Well, again, you've brought up some, some great points. Um, just to, to pull back for a second, BDS is, is a, a, a kind of rating monitor for radio play. Um, it's much like SoundScan. And, mm -hmm. and you're right, a lot, of, a lot of record companies do look at those types of things to determine who they're going to sign. It's, it goes back to your idea of the kind of microwave thing. It pops up hot for a second, but for the long term, it's typically not a good strategy. Um, so let's jump forward a little bit. It seems to me you've got somewhat of a strategy to find this person. You know, wonderfully, you've got a very strong set of values, and you will eventually find somebody. And I haven't you. found that person. Sorry. Yeah, so we're still I, haven't, I haven't found you, okay. but you know when I find you. Yes. So when you find this person, and you know, maybe that helps, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you said you want to you want to each have a kind of return on the investment, and that that kind of speaks to this idea of, of a uh, some sort of uh, relationship, contract, contractual or otherwise. Mm -hmm. um, how 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 would it work? So you find that you find an MC, right? And that's kind of mm -hmm. what we're talking about. You find somebody that's going to going to add voice to your beats. Mm -hmm. How would you break up the uh, the copyright? Um, I would hope to do it 50-50, mm -hmm. but um, I've been trying to educate myself and I realized the more work that the producer does, the more cut that he's entitled to. Mm -hmm. um, personally, I would set it up short term, then long term. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't trust anybody. I would set up a song deal. I would say, well, I'll produce these next 10 songs for you, um, whatever, and we'll split it 50-50. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have a, if I, for, if I produce the song with the hook in mind, then you can split it 60-40. Okay. And it's, a, it's an important point. I mean, when you write these beats, you've got 100% of the copyright. Mm -hmm. Somebody's got, Lyrics with no beats, right? But they have a melody. Mm -hmm. They got 100% of that copyright, right? So when they crash together, you've created a joint work. Mm -hmm. And how you divide that up is a really important detail. And too many artists, not just in the hip hop world, but in, in any time more than one writer comes together, folk or rock or whatever, it's a big issue because those copyrights last forever, <laughs> and um, and all the revenue that comes in is going to be divided the way that you proportion it out. So if you do it 50-50 and AT&T uses one of your 30-second mm. little snippet for their next ad and that generates a million bucks of revenue, it splits right out. Um, I, really don't, I, mean, it's, I really don't have a problem with that. Mm -hmm. Like, I honestly can't say that I don't have a problem with that with anybody that I work with that I've reached an agreement with beforehand. The, the problem arises if you did it 51, 49, mm -hmm. and you had 49 for whatever reason, mm -hmm. and AT&T comes and they want to do it, and you're like, hey, a million bucks, okay. And the MC guy says, I don't sell my work for anyone. He can stop it. So the, this, the, the split of copyright has a very, it's a very large impact. Um, so you need to be very careful how you divide it up. And it's not easy to change either. Mm -hmm. um, you, you mentioned that you want to kind of start it this way, and then, you know, once you establish that and fix it that way, it, how are you going to force someone to change it? You know, so um, I think it's really important in, in the hip hop world when when you're doing it because it typically is a producer on one hand and an MC on the other, and they're constantly creating these joint works. We started this conversation with a work for hire, and you need to move away from that. You know, you can't. You you clearly have talent. You clearly have a vision. You need to do less of okay, I'll sell you my beat for X number of dollars. You need long-term assets. Um, and to, to start building a whole catalog of work that becomes multiple streams of revenue for you.